guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on this nice and glowy, kind of bronzy look. I put it together kind of for like a spring, summer kind of glam. Um, because, let's be real, I wear a full face of makeup almost every single day. So, I like to look whatever this is. I like to look like this. So, if you want to see how to get, you know, the highlight and the lip and the eye, just all of it. If you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. I have already moisturized my skin, but now I'm going to apply my foundation, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and this is in Classic Ivory. Um, I normally mix this with the Maybelline Dream Velvet, but I'm out right now, so we're just using that one. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind. This one is just in Fair, and I do apply quite a bit of this. And I'm sorry about the weird lighting. I'm working with natural lighting, um, and it's just kind of going in and out, so just bear with me. Now I'm just going to set that with a powder. I normally use the Airspun powder, but I don't have it with me at the moment, so I'm just using this CoverGirl Clean Press Powder, and this one works just fine for me. I set my entire face, and that's just because I don't like to get oily or shiny throughout the day, and it makes, like, putting the powder down helps bronzer and blush and stuff blend out a lot better. I'm going to go back in and add my dewy touches later but if you have dry skin um, I would just set underneath the eyes or wherever your foundation creases and that'll help that dewy effect for your dry skin okay now that we're all freshly powdered I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back Okay, so for the eyes, I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It is super pretty. And I'm just starting, since I don't prime my eyes, I'm just going to set them with Charmer, which is just a nice nude shade. Kind of matches the skin tone. Now I'm going to take Flower Child, which is just this kind of tan color and it's going to go right into the crease. So it's just going to work as a nice transition shade. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit of Jet Setter and Smarty Pants, which are these two shades here. They're kind of like just these nude browns. I'm just going to put these, make a mixture of them, and put them in the crease. I'm just going to take a Luxie 205 brush and a little bit of Rebel, which is this really nice terracotta. It's a very warm brown shade. Super nice. And I'm going to put this in the crease as well. We're just kind of building up the depth as we go. We don't want to start off with a deep dark shade because we want there to be dimension. We want everything to blend out pretty nice. I'm going to take a small blending brush with the color Leader, and this is right next to Rebel. It's just a deeper version of Rebel. Very warm, red-toned brown. And then just going in with a fluffy blending brush and blending that out. Taking a little bit of Charmer, which was this 
nice light skin tone shade and I'm just kind of rocking that on the edges of that shadow just to kind of help them blend into the skin. I'm going to take the color Activist and Smoke Show and I'm going to kind of mix them together. They're just the darkest colors in the palette. I kind of mix them together and I'm going to put them in the outer V very gently kind of building up also more of that cat eye shape just to give the eye look a little more structure then I'm just going to take Rebel again because I want this to be a little bit warmer and take my Luxie 205 brush and blend out those deep colors. Now I'm going to take the shade Funny Girl, which is this really nice shimmery champagne color. I'm just going to take this on a flat brush. I'm going to load up my brush with the shade with the Funny Girl shade and then I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. And this is just going to allow it to be a little more pigmented, a little more, it's going to add a little more pop to that shade, make it a little more bold. I'm also going to kind of clean up the crease over here. So, oh, you can't see that. I'm just kind of cleaning up the crease, so that way it's not muddy, it's nice and and like we put things there on purpose. Taking a little bit more of Funny Girl Dry and packing that on top. Okay, now I'm going to take just any one of the blending brushes we used and kind of feather in that outer corner with that light shade. I'm gonna add some winged liner and then I'll be right back. Okay, so for liner, I use just the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I'm going to take the Morphe E24, which is just a really nice pencil brush. You can't see that, it's just a little pencil brush. I'm gonna take the color Jet Setter, which was a, it's like a mid-toned tan. I won't say it's brown, but it's like a tan color. And I'm gonna put this all over the lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take this like flat liner brush and I'm going to take Rebel, which was that warm shade, and put that close to the lash line. Taking Leader, which was the even darker uh, red shade, and putting that on the outer half of that lower lash line. And then taking just a little bit of Smoke Show, which is the darkest color in the palette, putting that on the outer third. Then just kind of taking a blending brush and melting all of that together. Now I'm gonna apply just a little bit of some mascara. I'm going to kind of lower my lash line in the inner corner. So instead of going up and in, I'm kind of going straight out at that inner corner. You can see it better than I can explain it. But just kind of go straight out. I love doing this to the lower lash line. I feel like it makes your eyes look so much more interesting on a basic eye look, it, it just brings so much more attention to the eye. For face, I'm just going to contour using the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. I'm going to go in with the coolest tone shade and I'm going to contour with this.
and I'm actually trying a new product. This is from the MAC collection that is out right now. I should know what it's called, but I don't. I went into MAC the other day and I was like, oh my god, you have a new collection. Did not know anything about it. And of course I bought things from it. But the packaging is so awesome. But this is a um, Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder, and this is in Golden Rinse. Super nice. I'm just going to take my Morphe M527 and swirl it in there. I'm gonna take NARS Blush and Luster, which is just this orangey shade. It's in the Steven Klein palette. I'm just gonna do a light wash of this on the cheeks, though. Now, my current obsessions, like no joke obsessed with, are the Anastasia Glow Kits. I freaking love these to death. I think my favorite one is Gleam. But, you can't go wrong with that glow. So, I'm actually going to use this one today because it has more of those bronzy shades. I'm just going to kind of mix. I'm going to mix Sunburst and Bubbly, which are the two on the left. So, I'm just going to kind of mix them. And douse myself in highlight. So we want to look dewy. I'm actually going to take Sunburst, which is from La De Goulou. I'm actually going to put this in the inner corner because I did not do an inner corner highlight, and you can't go out with go without one of those. So pretty. I bought Lolita 2 by Kat Von D, which is beautiful. I love it so much. And so I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. Guys, I hear the ice cream truck. I need to contain myself. I already have like two pints of Ben and Jerry's in my freezer, but yet I still want to go to the ice cream truck. I have a problem. This lipstick is literally my life right now. I am dying for it. And this glow, praise Anastasia. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love it personally. I love how simple it looks, but like you still look so on fleek. Um, I hate that word. Why did I use it? Mm. I love how, I just moved my camera. I cannot do this in this motorcycle and like everything at once. Oh my God, oh my God. I love how simple this look is, but yet you still look so fierce, so put together, and like you spent hours doing your makeup, when in reality you did. Um, I mean, let's just be real, this took me like two hours <laughs> trying to film it and trying to move everywhere. Again, I apologize for the lighting. It is so wacky throughout this video, but hopefully you got the tutorial and you saw it and you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.